they tell you what happened today with uh, Vector Limited, power company in Auckland. They're the uh, main uh, supply for the whole of Auckland, from Papakura, South Auckland, to uh, Wellsford. Um, in 2008, we had a uh, preliminary agreement to have some power connected if we were to go ahead with the uh, Maya Tidal Energy Bridge in the Kaipara Harbour. So um, Norman Tubb was uh, the, uh, the man at the time for Vector, Mercury Energy, and so we uh, made provision to put the uh, 33 kV line in um, to the bridge in the harbour, but now we have um, reviewed all of that and sending the, well, sent the uh, uh, information of this today, got it all ready for them, and also Transpower, they got a, um, a um, substation down here, downtown Auckland, on Hobson Street, and so I've put together another picture like this just so that we can show them where we're going to connect the uh, power. You'll see on the video, uh, you'll see on the picture, um, I'll put the video beside it, uh, how we uh, embed the power from the fuel cell, uh, 1.5 megawatt fuel cell, and a 10 megawatt um, hydrogen powered jet engine generator. That's 10 megawatts, one of the two. Um, connected to the H-Bank Technologies solid hydrogen canisters. We call them tanks or bottles, but they're canisters. That's their technical uh, term for them. <coughs> and they um, uh, hold 16,500 litres. And so we are able to carry them on this big um, MI-26 helicopter that we want to purchase. So costed it all up uh, with the bridge uh, components and also the turbines, the compressors and uh, fuel cells. Everything that goes together for the plan I put on that um, one page for Vector to go over again and uh, with their appraisal team for energy, uh, new power connections to the grid lines here downtown. So we'll start from here first and um, um, let them decide where they want to put the power or just provide the power in a bottle or power in a canister um, from the Rokomara Basin on the east coast there so it'll take about an hour and a half to fly from there but this big helicopter goes about 275 miles an hour pretty, pretty fast um, and carrying 33,000 kilograms so that's its all up weight it can carry 20,000 kilograms so 105 of these canisters um, is carrying 1.723 million litres, something like that, of um, fuel, jet fuel, for these power stations that, once, that we're going to put up. Uh, Moai uh, remote power stations, that means they don't need to, uh, uh, not limited to where they can go because we just can drop them anywhere uh, we want to, where they want the, su the substations and just drop the fuel cells there and the uh, canisters, that's it, and hook them up, hook them to their power silent, it's quiet, but if they want more power in one place we can put the big jet engines in, 10 megawatts here and 10 megawatts there, spread them around. Uh, so um, TransPower wanted 500 megawatts of power, and uh, I think um, uh, Vector would probably want 300 uh, megawatts of power and um, Contact Energy probably wants uh, 300 megawatts, maybe, give or take here or there, but we'll cater for the whole lot uh, and guarantee that they had um, with the sea power. Uh, so. Um, um, <clears throat> with the substation down here, they've got new cables underground from Pakaranga uh, down to Hobson Street to Penrose and across to under the sea across to uh, um, 
the show, uh, over the North Shore. Um, I forget where it is now. Anyway, it's going up to Wellsford and Albany and down to Wairo Road, uh, where the substations are across the shore. And so it's a bit late now. We could have saved them putting the cables in and just dropped the, the load over there with the helicopter and dropped the whole off. So that's 105 um, bottles, uh, uh, canisters. That weighs about 190 kgs each. So they, they, they add up to 19,500 19, kgs. That's all the... 1.7235 million litres of solid hydrogen in metal. There's no pressure, high pressure. It's only on a low pressure uh, and discharges at atmospheric pressure. If you want more pressure out, you just heat it up a little bit or put a fan on it, on the canisters, and it'll fly out. All right, so we've got, um, um, hopefully, I'm just trying to sort out the landing rights to, to, to Mechanics Bay just across from me here and um, for the big aircraft to land, the helicopter or otherwise we'll just build another place for it and we'll set the station right where they want it we'll plant the whole lot there and they can connect up to it uh, so that's that's easy, that's, that's not a problem uh, so um, yeah, so that was uh, what I wanted to say today, uh, just to let people know that you just follow the picture, not this one, follow the picture of the arrows, you'll see where the fuel comes from the bridge at the Rokumara range, so it goes, first of all it goes from seawater, we split it, right? we split it with electrolysis through the, uh, the uh, MHD, the water goes through and spins through, through the MHD, Magneto hydrodynamic, so that means water, salt water going through. We electrolyze it, put, put the power in it, and then we put the um, the um, superconducting magnets on both sides. So if we stuck 300 megawatts through there, we should get 150 megawatts for free. So 150 plus 300, 450 megawatts through there. Okay, that's our generator on this. This turbine bridge. This turbine bridge. Okay? That's how it works. Our generator is in water. And so, uh, so that's, that's very powerful. Up just below the water line, it's about 20 meters down from the top of the uh, low tide, uh, we've got the generator with the same MHD there, and we've got MHDs on the end of the, um, on the, end of the turbine blades. We've got the turbine blades like that, the turbine blades, they revolve like this on the main shaft that's going down to the bottom of the ocean and then over here you've got that MHD there and it goes like that so when it's, when it's, when it's up like that, that's like that so when the tide goes that way, pushes that around and then the jet engine fires and throws it around as well. So you've got a combination of power uh, generated in here. You've got the water jet coming through and going through there. That's the water jet from the relief pressure of the pump at the bottom of the ocean. That that once it hits the turbine at the top, just below the water, the big turbine, big turbine, um, uh, then the pressure the pressure goes up, pressure goes up into the big turbine, then comes down and then out, out and reliefs out there. So the pressure's set and so, like I was saying, the blade is going that way and the tide's going that way, it's going that way. So you've got water pressure, you've got jet fuel burnt, we've got the stored energy in these canisters up on the deck and, and, it, and it feeds the pipes through here to here to fire at the same time. So if the pressure drops on the hydraulics, if the tide slows down, the jet engines speed up and keeps the beam constant. So this thing never stops. It never stops. So you've got you've got when it's on this side, when the blade's on this side, it's going like that. 
on the other side and this is over there so it's firing over there too and so when it gets on that side it tips up on an angle to come from there it tips up on 15 degrees comes around to 90 degrees then it puts down the other way comes around 90 degrees this way so that means when it's going against the tide that way it lifts the whole lot of the turbine blades up so they're going up like that right? and down like that up like that and down like that for 90 degrees uh, 90 degrees there 90 degrees there and then it comes around 180 degrees all the way around that way okay so I'll just explain to you just where we're getting our power from with these um, MHT system of generation that's that's superconducting uh, power megawatts real mega megawatts of power generation all right this is what I'm explaining to Vector and um, contact energy and, and transpower. Those, those are contact energy is the biggest generating power company, and um, transpower is the biggest transmission lines company, and then vectors for the whole of Auckland region that I'm talking to at the moment. So we're just getting back and catching up with them from 2008, 2005 when all this started, all these plans. So it's taken uh, uh, for 70 years, 70 years to put all this together, right where it is now. That's why it's very intense and um, pretty well spot on uh, when it comes to engineering. And, and those, those guys in there will look at it, they'll look at the figures. Our friend uh, Chris Taylor should be back from overseas, uh, uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers, to have an appraisal. By that time I would have told him what's happening here. So he'll be getting these as well. So it's you're seeing it too. So they know where it comes from. So there's no need for anybody to uh, to guess you know, who's putting all this together. Okay? So Moai. Moai is my plan. Moai lets me know a lot of things. So that's how it works. Um, so <coughs> with this uh, power, um, new power uh, generating scheme, uh, what happens is it, it, it'll save a lot of uh, money on the transmission lines. We don't need big power lines anymore. We just drop these these um, these um, um, fuel cells, all the jet engines on these containers, a 20 foot, 60 foot container. It's got a 10, 60 foot. It fits in 60 foot container, not a 40 foot, 60 foot. 10 megawatts, right? We just put 10 there, 10 there, 10 over there, 10, 10 spread them all around, and just drop the bottles with the helicopter, right? That's 20,000 tons at a time. Okay? That's a lot of weight in that helicopter. And if you have a look, it, it, it lift, lift, up, lift up another big helicopter, a Chinook helicopter, underneath it. Right? That's how much powerful they are. So if that's what we need. If that's what you're purchasing when you buy the shares in this company. The company is, is owned by the people. It's just me in it at the moment. It's just me and Moai. So it belongs to all the people in the world, uh, really. And uh, I'm just here to uh, drive the vehicle uh, until somebody else can take it off me and uh, I can have rest. Right? So that's how it works. But with Vector uh, and Transpower, um, it'll be an exciting time for them because um, of the different type of power as a first, uh, a first of its kind, uh, to have remote power stations anywhere in the bush where there's no power lines. So we can drop them in new development areas, uh, in the WAPOPs, and uh, also in the ocean somewhere, or, or in the middle of town, in the city. So I think the, with the big helicopter, I don't know how noisy it is, but people should be lucky to have it around because it will pick anything up that's stuck in the middle of the ocean and pick the whole boat out of the water or lift uh, um, at least 80 people at a time uh, from a disaster zone or, or tourism, it's good for tourism we can take them down to the um, tidal energy bridge they can go down the lift and there's a big generator room there with glass so you can actually see all the fish and the turbines, you can watch the turbines turning under the water. You can, see them. you can actually see them going around. 
and, um, and operating. So that's something to bring more revenue for the uh, shareholders, uh, as well as um, um, heavy lifting of um, equipment uh, that's, uh, that we can do at the same time, uh, or lifting things around that are, uh, are 20,000 20, tons. That's a lot of weight. Uh, so we, we are able to do that with these big helicopters. Uh, there's not one here um, uh, that I know that, uh, that can do that yet. But uh, the shares, uh, we, we, we can take these into other countries as well. Uh, so people buying the shares uh, come from all over the world. Uh, and the more they have, if there's a whole bunch of them in India wants this over there, then it goes over there and they will use their own people to build it and their own ideas, uh, but we just give them the plan and uh, they put it up. Uh, or we put it up ourselves and they benefit from it. And the same deal here as the members will have travel, uh, everything like that, um, um, you know, uh, paid for uh, with a credit debit system uh, of our bank, our mobile bank on the, on the bridge, the power bridge. Uh, so, yes. But getting back to um, Vector and uh, Contact Energy and Transpower, I uh, should know by the end of the week uh, how we're doing. Uh, so that's a lot of, lot of work, a lot of work to uh, put in uh, for me. Um, and um, so I'm hoping that um, we'll have some answer back from, from PricewaterhouseCoopers uh, so you have confidence in, in, in me and my and, um, and our team. Uh, when we'll pick our team from whoever comes in, uh, maybe some, some big companies that, uh, that'll uh, throw off a few bucks this way, uh, and for the benefit of, of the power uh, energy. Uh, so that's, uh, that's about all for now, and um, we'll catch up with you on the next video. Thank you very much, and see you again soon. Bye for now.